Well, hello there everyone, Delta1 here, and we have got another awesome multi-tool for you guys today, and I went ahead and found the S-Class cabinet, so you guys do not have to. The good news today is this one is a really cool and interesting multi-tool. I wouldn't go far, well, maybe I would, maybe it is a rare multi-tool. I'm going to have to let you guys help me decide that one out as we take a look at it. Uh oh, got a sentinel. You know what that means, time to roll. Uh, first things first. We're going to have to reload on this planet, so let's create an autosave. And let's take a look at the system that we're in. So we are in the Ustiv system that I discovered a couple months ago. And we are on Kenham 18, the life incompatible planet. And so it's important that you that's important that you reload uh, your autosave, which I just created here, so that you load the right multi-tool when we get to the S-Class cabinet. For those who are unaware, uh, there are a number of potential multi-tool pools in any given system, each one for, uh, one for each planet and for the space station. And so when you find a cabinet, it is the class that it always is. So if you find an A-class cabinet, it's always an A-class. If you find an S-class cabinet, it's always an S-class. The tool that goes into it is based on what planet or station you reload it on. And so that's why we just did that. Let's go ahead and take off here. And we're going to fly over towards the base that I've put down by the cabinet. S-Class Experimental Pistol, there it is. The planet is Slow's Delta, and I didn't name it that. It was already called uh, Slow's Delta, so, uh, you know, I think uh, the, the gods are favoring me today. This was meant to be. You'll also notice I got a new ship here. I've been uh, flying the um, the gold and the, the Alpha Golden Vector, um, but I found this one the other day. It's kind of a lavender color, and it actually is going to match the multi-tool that we're looking at. Uh, I hope you guys really like it. This one I was very, very excited to find. Uh, like I said, I, I think the configuration itself might not be the most particular rare thing, but the color, the color is super unique. So we're going to go ahead and dive bomb here. You'll notice my ship is not handling particularly well or going particularly fast because I just got it. I haven't upgraded it yet, and I was just flying it around, um, and I had it, and I figured I would record this video, so here we are. Oh, we missed the landing pad. Oh god. Oh god. We are on the minor settlement. That's okay. That's okay. Delta-1 experimental pistol find. The com ball will be right there. The coordinates are positive 11.6 and negative 59.78. So let's go ahead and get inside here. <laughs> and there she blows. I mean, look at that thing. Look at that color. It is an experimental pistol. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. So here we are, an experimental pistol, pistol, Dream Focuser Mark IV. And here's the thing, Dream is very apt here, because this pistol is an absolute dream. Look at that color there. I have searched all over the Interstellar Index on Facebook uh, and the, um, uh, the Coordinate Exchange on Reddit, and both of those are fantastic communities, and I have not found an experimental pistol that is this color. It is very unique. I'm not sure I would go ahead and call it rare. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it might be rare. Um, but it is certainly a, a, a one of a kind here that, that, that you're seeing. It's really going to be hard to find a color like this. Uh, the only thing that would be better if it was a rifle, honestly. But another thing that's a little, uh, quite a bit less common, actually, are these wires right here. So if we take a look at the left-hand side view and the right-hand side view and then direct on, those raised wires really add a lot of character to the weapon. And you can find a number of pistols that have these raised wires, but more often than not, you find these wires kind of hugging the pistol itself. And in this case, they are raised above, uh, and that provides a little bit of extra pizzazz in the first person view, which I really, really, really enjoy. Decent damage potential scanner range to start with. Let's take a look at it real quick here. Kind of your standard stuff coming in with two million to buy. Let's go ahead and pick that bad boy up um, let's switch to you first person view here and pull it out there it is man look at that thing look at that thing <laughs> Delta one experimental pistol fine that's right so you can see the raised wires add just a little bit um, in that first person view it's almost like a sight you know what I mean I mean it, it, it's a really cool looking tool uh, I think the color is what's really unique about this one. It's got like a purple, a lavender. Realistically, and I did check, it's actually a periwinkle. <laughs> if you're super into colors, uh, that, that's really what this color is, and I find that to be very unique and very interesting. Uh, let's go back to our third-person view here, and we'll come around, we'll pull the pistol out again. 
um, and take a look at it in that third person view. It actually matches my outfit fairly well, so I'll probably be picking this pistol up for the channel. I keep hoarding pistols. Ah, I have so much trouble picking a pistol. <laughs> Uh, but this one's really interesting. I find it to be uh, just a very unique look and something that I think can um, help you stand out amongst the crowd. It's, 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 it's very, very different looking in terms of its color. And uh, it's also got the raised wires and an experimental pistol. So it's it's going to be valuable to you as a player. You know, it has a lot of um, traits that are beneficial for, for a number of different activities in No Man's Sky. So, hey, I hope you guys like this one. Um... We are in the Euclid galaxy. You can see the glyphs at the bottom left of your screen. Uh, so, ooh, extreme toxicity. Inside, that's a bummer. <laughs> oh, no, man, Sky. How you, how you vex me sometimes. But hey, I hope you guys really like this tool. I found it to be really, really cool and really interesting. Um, and I hope you guys do too. So we're in the Euclid uh, galaxy. You can see the glyphs at the bottom left. Uh, I gave you the coordinates earlier in the video. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hey, if you like the content, please hit the like uh, button. It really helps other people find the channel um, and uh, find this content. And if you really, really like it, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you guys will not miss out on any content uh, that I have coming up just for you guys. I've been busy. I haven't posted a video in a, a little while, but I've been pretty busy um, with some real life stuff and setting up some things inside the game so that we can post some more different types of videos. So until then, hey, thank you guys so much for coming, and until next time, uh, I'll see you guys out there in the verse. Have a good one, my friends.